summer. Hello. Oh, you already have food in your bowl. No, that's not your food. This is your food. Eat your food. Good morning guys, um, it's like 8.45, um, it's my day off, I've been awake for like probably an hour now, I was just kind of laying in bed watching YouTube videos but I really need to start getting ready because I'm picking up my wedding dress today, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I, it's just gotten done getting alterations and stuff like that so I have to go try it on again. And hopefully after the alterations, everything fits. And if everything fits, I get to take it home. And I'm so excited. Um, I'm trying to debate if I should actually show it on here or if I should keep it a secret because Casey does watch my videos. <laughs> so I might have to blur it out, but um, we'll see. We'll see what I decide when I get there. Um, but yeah, I have to be there by 11.30, but it takes me like an hour to get there. So I need to start getting ready. I need to make my celery juice, make some coffee, take a shower, all that fun stuff. So yeah, let me just get on with my morning and yeah. Before I forget, I got these um, two like devices in the mail. This is like a microdermabrasion tool from Vanity Planet. I saw Sarah's day use this in like one of her blo uh, blogs, in one of her vlogs not too long ago. And I read the reviews and it like had really good reviews. So I figured I would get it with like this little facial steamer and just do like an at-home facial. Um, let me know in the comments down below if that would be something you guys want to see. Um, with my wedding coming up in a couple months, I want to make sure that my skin is in like the best shape ever. So I'm going to start trying to do like facial steaming at home to get everything out and use this guy, uh, as often as it says to use it. Um, and yeah, let's see if that does something to my skin. <laughs> Get this. I love you. I love you. Oh, okay, now we're biting. Why are you so obsessed with putting my hand in your mouth? Huh? <laughs> okay, I have like 30 minutes to hurry up and get ready. So I need to do like some really quick hair and makeup. Will I have time to cut my hair? I have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna do like super quick makeup right now because, per usual, I am running late. <laughs> um, I don't have time to like walk you through everything that I'm doing right now. I'll list all of the products that I use down below in the description box, but I'm just doing like some super simple everyday makeup. Um, I can link some of the videos I've done before of my everyday makeup. Um, I mean, it's basically super similar to that. Um, yeah, just want to throw a little bit of makeup on so that I can see what my dress will look like when, like, so I can kind of get like the full effect of like what my dress will look like with makeup on and everything like that. Cause I feel like if you go in with just, bare face and your hair not done. You can't really get the full effect of the dress.
outfit of the day. I have this American Eagle bodysuit that just kind of like has these little bell sleeves. Some American Eagle mom jeans. No, I'm not sponsored by American Eagle, but American Eagle sponsor me. And then my Steve Madden boots. And I have to go because I am very late. <laughs> Do the picture? Yeah. There it is! Okay, that was like the quickest appointment ever. Um, but that took me like 10 minutes just to hurry up and try it on. It fits. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna go drive home now and make some lunch, let the dogs out, hopefully not get stuck in traffic. It took me an hour to get here. So it took like an hour to get here just for 10 minutes <laughs> to an hour home, but it's fine. Go have lunch. I'm gonna go work on some things, take the dogs out, and I will see you guys back home. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm sorry that I never uh, ended off that vlog from yesterday. I got a little busy, my camera died, and... Yeah, I'm like the worst blogger ever. I didn't do anything really much yesterday after my dress appointment. Besides just play with the dogs, watch some Bob's Burgers. I watched Burlesque <laughs> and that was literally my Friday. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's Saturday. It's about 8.45. I have a hair appointment right now at nine. As always, I'm freaking all right, I'm running late, like always. Story of my life. Um, but yeah, I am just on my way to my hair appointment. And I'll show you guys what my hair looks like when I get to my appointment. better in the light now she did such a good job she just cut off like a couple inches brought all like the blonde up and then we went like <laughs> fucking Casey. we went like a little bit darker just because i wanted a little bit more brown in my hair again i liked the pure blonde but i think it was time to go back to a little bit more natural but Oh, it just feels so much healthier and lighter and I love it. She always does such a good job. If any of you guys are in the Bay Area, her name's Alana. She does amazing hair. I'm outside, so sorry if it's a little loud. Her name's Alana. She does amazing hair. Um, so if you're in the Bay Area, check her out. Um, I'll leave her Instagram handle down below for you guys. But she always picks my hair up. I love it. Definitely going to go right before the wedding to get my hair done again from her. But oh, I'm in love. It looks so good. All right. It's time to slap some makeup on my face, get changed, and go get some lunch because I am starving. Okay, oh, you can see a little bit better in the light now. She did such a good job. I'm outside, hold on. She just cut off like a couple inches, brought all like the blonde up, and then we went like, <laughs> Casey. We went like a little bit darker just because I wanted a little bit more brown in my hair again. I liked the pure blonde, but I think it was time to go back to a little bit more natural. But oh, it just feels so much healthier and lighter, and I love it. She always does such a good job. Um, her name's Alana, she does amazing hair. Um, so if you're in the Bay Area, check her out. Um, I'll leave her Instagram handle down below for you guys. But she always picks my hair up, I love it. Definitely gonna go right before the wedding to get my hair done again from her. But oh, I'm in love. It looks so good. All right, it's time to slap some makeup on my face, get changed, and 
go get some lunch because I am starving. <laughs> Good morning. Sammy. <laughs> what are you making over there? Making some avocado toast. It's gonna be delicious. Already made the coffee. Um so it's Sunday now, I'm lame, I'm super lame, and I didn't um, show you what we did yesterday after the brewery because I forgot my camera at home. But we went to go take summer to play with Koopa. We had some great Indian food. And now we're gonna make some breakfast on this fine Sunday morning. So we're gonna um, address invitations today, which is gonna be a super fun process. My hand is gonna hurt so bad. Um, I'm gonna do a facial today. I think I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna use the new steamer and like microdermabrasion tool. I think we're gonna test that out today for a little self-care Sunday. I'm gonna clean and that's gonna be my whole entire day and then watch some reality TV with some good dinner because that sounds like a great Sunday to me. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm doing our invitations. I'm blocking my address because I don't want any um, random people showing up at my house, but these are our little like RSVP cards. This is what our RSVP cards actually look like. Make these myself on Vistaprint. And then, and this is what our invitations look like. Our photographer did such a good job with the photos. We put a photo on the front, inside, and then on the back. These were like my favorite pictures from that shoot. We need to get those out ASAP because it's coming up in like three months. So not even three months, it's coming up in like almost like two and a half months. So we really need to get the ball moving on this and get everybody's RSVPs back. Luckily we're only, we're keeping like the wedding super small. So we're only inviting so many people, but still a lot of work to be doing this very last minute, but that's my life, so yeah. Okay, so it's time for the at-home facial. I have my steamer, which I'm gonna turn on now. I have my little microdermabrasion tool. And then I have a clay mask, if you can focus, hello clay mask and a hydrating mask to use after the microdermabrasion. So I'm gonna steam my face first and then I'm gonna put on the clay mask. I just got my mask ready. It's just the clay mask and apple cider vinegar. that off and then it says to steam your face again and then to use the microdermabrasion tool so now for this bad boy I'm going to turn it on I'm gonna put it on level two and if you can see it has like a little timer so it says that it only will be on for four minutes so and it tells you like what part to start off with so it kind of like has like a little guide so i'm just gonna follow this little guide and see what happens you know what i forgot 
there's like a different head that you can put for your nose. Okay, so I will say you have to be really quick with this. My skin is thoroughly red from this, but I think that was expected. Um, I only had it on setting two, and there's three settings. So I had it on like the medium one just to start off, just to see how my skin reacts to it. Um, yeah, super red. <laughs> I'm gonna put this Tula uh, recovery mask on now. It's just like a nice hydrating mask. That way I can just put some, just put some moisture on my face and it'll help like bring the redness down. I'm just gonna put a good size amount on there. And this one like you can apply it everywhere. It's super soothing and hydrating. And doesn't irritate the skin. I'm gonna leave that one on for a few minutes. And I will come back. A lot of the redness went down. I think it's just like where I have a little bit of breakouts is where it's mostly red. I'm just gonna do a little bit of toner. This is my Tula resurfacing toner. Not gonna use any exfoliating serum today, just because it says not to use that after you do microdermabrasion because it can be like irritating. So I'm gonna go in it with my ASAP Super B Complex Serum. Then I'm gonna go in with my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tool of Beauty Sleep Moisturizer. Mix that with a little bit of my Audacity P, A, and G Serum. And also, I'm gonna use this um, squalene oil this company sent it to me from beautylish um it's supposed to be really good for scars so we're gonna mix a little bit of that in too and make a little concoction because it says to apply a really like a rich moisturizer after you do microdermabrasion so i'm just gonna add in all the moisture and hope for the best Okay, so this is what my skin looks like after I can give you guys an update tomorrow like after I sleep on it just to see what my skin looks like after um, and hopefully if this goes well it'll be something I can do weekly and it'll help me have clear skin before the wedding so we'll see what happens but I will give you guys an update on that later. Okay, so <laughs> I'm editing this vlog and I realized that I didn't end it off. Um, so, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and end it off. But um, this is the result from that microdermabrasion and steaming. Um, sorry, excuse this summer scratch me. I get red really easily. But it's Tuesday now. So um, that like big pimple that I had right here is basically gone. Still a little bit of redness right here from like the couple little pimples that I had right here. I had a big scar right here and it actually looks like it faded pretty well. The same thing with this one up here. This one was a lot darker and that's just a mark on my face. But I mean, other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, So I'm actually really optimistic about using this microdermabrasion tool um like once a week so i think i'm gonna make this um like a routine thing and do the steaming once a week and like do the microdermabrasion every week until the wedding and then i can t probably taper it down until like every month um but yeah i'm gonna keep using it and um i can give you guys like a final review later if you guys want me to but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed like the little weekend vlog. Um, stay tuned this week. I think I'm going to be doing some weekly recipe videos this week. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see from me next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.